Steve Jobs was one of the most successful people in our history. Not only because of he was the founder of Apple, but he is also the father of modern technology. In 1984, we introduced the Macintosh. It didn't just change Apple, it changed the whole computer industry. But there is a mysterious point in his life when he became full of new ideas and founded Apple. Perhaps the story began when, at the age of 17, he received a book called The Autobiography of a Yogi. A book he reads once a year. Steve Jobs surprised the world day by day with new ideas. An iPod, a phone, and an internet communicator. An iPod, a phone. Are you getting it? These are not three separate devices. This is one device. And we are calling it iPhone. Today, he was the one who started the microcomputer revolution. Until he took the last breath of his life at the height of his success. But at his memorial service, a gift was given to attendees of his behalf. In fact, this was his last gift to his fans and people. Would you like to know what this gift was? This gift was nothing but the book of autobiography of a yogi. But why does Steve Jobs read this book every year? And why was his will to the people to read this book? In the presence of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Mark Zuckerberg said when his company was being destroyed, Steve Jobs offered him to travel to India and visit a particular temple. Company, I should visit this temple that he had gone to uh, in India. Yes, travel to India, visiting this temple, and meeting a mysterious man is the mysterious point in Steve Jobs' life. Steve was studying at Reed College in Portland in 1973, at the age of 19, when he suddenly left the university and traveled to India with his friend Daniel Kotka to seek inspiration and enlightenment. He went to a temple in New Delhi to see Nim Karoli Baba. And then embarked on a journey to northern of India and the Himalayas to find a holy man. Finally, after four months, he returned to the United States with a shaved head and start Apple computer. The book Autobiography of a Yogi introduces the reader to the life of Paramahansa Yogananda and his encounters with spiritual figures. In fact, this book is an introduction to the methods of achieving a spiritual wisdom. This book also mentions a person named Babaji born in 203 AD and now living in a cave in the Himalayas. Yes, according to this book, Babaji has lived in the remote Himalayas of India for at least hundreds of years, seen only by a small numbers of his students and other in person, and Steve Jobs is undoubtedly one of them. Because the person Steve and his friend were going to visit in Delhi was none other than the Babaji's close student. And they knew that he had recently left his mortal body inside this temple in Delhi. 
That's why he decided to see the master himself. There are two short videos from Daniel Kotka's interview that explain the story of the trip. To watch, you can click on the link in the description section. To read this book, you must maximize your understanding. And you can get help from our previous seven videos. For example, consider this sentence of the book. In the Matrix video, we saw that human is made up of a physical body, brain, and aura of energy, which we call the soul. And in the Cosmic Energy video, we saw that there is a lot of cosmic energy around us at night. And we receive these cosmic rays throughout the brain. That if you are awake at the properties hour and follow the tips mentioned in the video The Eye of Providence, you can change not only your tomorrow, but also your future. Now read this text again. 